What is the fate of Earth in Dragon Ball Super? Would it be better off in Universe 6 or is it good in Universe 7? Find out today. And I am joined by... Superman. Okay, Clark. My name's not Clark. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. No. My name is not Clark. It's Goku, then. Okay, we're going to call My you name is Goku. Dante. Goku. My name is Dante. I'm okay, the black your Superman. name is Dante. Okay, now, <laughs> let's move on. Now, I've been thinking about this for a while now. When you think about okay. it, Universe 6 seems like a much better place than Universe 7. Universe 6 seems like a much better Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean, it's reasonable, yes. I mean, but there's like a whole race of a good science, and we talked about this in the podcast. Is there an entire race of science that are pure of heart? That means the potential for multiple super Saiyan gods. Because I believe that there is no power level needed to become a god. You just need the, the, that number of Saiyans. You just need the Saiyans. That will tr- help with the transformation and the guy transforming. That's all you need but in my opinion. But from the looks of it, this universe is turning out to be like that is like turning out to be like the ultimate of the universe. So, like they said, they're twins, right? They're basically yeah. opposite twins. It's, it's yeah. sort of what we said, right? Yeah. So I mean, if you have to be righteous-hearted in the universe seven to be a super saint god, wouldn't you have to be evil-hearted to be well, a super saint god in well, universe six? Well, really, when you think of that, I think by, by, by like, the opposites, they mean, like, the people and the events that happen. I don't think they mean the biology of the races. It, 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 because unless you think that Earthlings, like, then, then you can argue maybe Namekian can't make Dragon Ball there. It's like, eh? Then you could argue that Saiyans don't even have, like, Saiyans aren't even fighters. Yeah, it's like, it, would, it wouldn't really make sense. It's like, that's going too far into the whole opposite territory. That's like saying, like, yeah. it, it, on opposite day, you uh, you should do li- everything which should be opposite. Literally. Like, but, like, your car should be opposite. Right. It's like, that's not the way it works. It's like, yeah. the biology of the thing would still be the same. So, when you think about it, there's a whole planet of potential super saiyan gods. And there's this good version of Frieza ruling over the universe. And you, and he debate, and it even. Well, if he I mean, is he is he implied to be good? It's just it's just implied that he's the ruler, and he's like legitimately just. Well, no, but step by pickle, I don't sense any evil from him. True, but that doesn't mean he's good. I mean, he could just be. He could be a tyrant. Still, it just mean, it might mean he's not evil. He could be just spoiled. True, but you see my point, like, he, like, he's definitely better than Frieza. True. Like, so in other words, we already had confirmation that the Emperor of the Universe in this universe isn't, like, Frieza going around and, like, oh, you're strong, I'm gonna blow up your planet because I'm scared. Like, we already, we had confirmation that he's not that kind of guy. I mean, it, but if you look at Universe 7 for a minute, legitimately look at all the stuff that happens here. <laughs> True. I, Would Bill exist in Universe 6? Yes, because according to Toriyama's retcon, and because it's the newest thing he said, that means it's an official, Boo has existed for all of time. Yeah, but would Boo be like... So, uh, so evil, that, 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 like that means, thing. like, did each universe begin, like, did each, was each universe created at the same time? Had the universe had been destroyed and recreated by the Kai before? We don't know. But according to Toriyama, Boo has always existed. Who knows? Boo could be from Universe 1700, for all we know. There's only 12, though. I know, but I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating, but you see my point. Boo could be from any universe. At all. True. True. And then, of course, there's the fact that all this other stuff happened. Like, they're free to destroy the race. They're Bethesians going out killing innocent people for sport. I mean, that kind of stuff doesn't happen in Universe 6. So you Do you argue... ever think we're going to get out of Universe 6 territory, though? 
You mean like go to like universe four or five? Yeah. No, I don't. Unless maybe in like a Toei only thing, maybe. But it's definitely not in any Toriyama material. There's no way. They're legit. You don't think you'd be willing to do that? No, I don't think so. Especially, unless Toei, especially with how badly Toei been doing with the anime. Well, I mean, it seems like they're trying to do better. No, they are, because they're afraid of losing their rights to Super. Well, not losing their rights, right, but they're afraid of Toriyama turning around and saying, you can, I say, I'm not going to get you new content. Right. He could he, he could keep on giving T- Totaru new content for years if he wanted to. Totaru doing a great job. Right, right, right. But uh, well, tell you, tell you, Taru. What, whatever, whatever. The point is, is that if you really examine it, it just I've been thinking about it. It's the same thing I say in my Gohan video. It's like, why would Gohan fight? The, new, the, the planet isn't really in any danger. Like, what's the worst that could happen to the planet in Universe 6? Even the God of Destruction is lazy. And, the, and, and Chamba's not going to kill them because he wants... The whole reason the tournament is this is so we can have their food. So they're definitely safe from Chamba as long as they do the same thing you're doing with Beerus. To give him food and he'll let you live. You know what I mean? But is the, the question that remains is, if Earth is swapped, Will the Z Fighters move to Universe 6? I, I, I think they would. I think they may. I think that'd be very interesting. Like, I've always thought it would be really interesting if the Earth is swapped. And maybe go, and maybe like Goku and Vegeta stay on that Earth to protect it. With, with some of the other fighters. The characters like Gohan and the non fighters. They some, some, go back and live on like Namek or something on Universe 6. I mean, you're worth seven. I, honestly, I can see Toriyama just letting the Earth be swapped and that leading into an entirely new story. Yeah, I know. When you really think about it, it's like, not, it's like, characters like, Gohan would love the universe today. He would love this place. It's, he could just say, oh, call up another Saiyan. They can do it. Like, he, there's nothing special about him there. Right. It's like there are plenty of Saiyans that like they're really the chances of him being one of the strongest people there are actually pretty low. You know what I mean? Right. I mean like he would not need to be a fighter there. He could just live a normal life. True. And he'll still be incredibly powerful. Like no matter what, Gohan can always protect his family. Any threat that would come from planet Earth itself that isn't like you know, like an like something like an android, Gohan can handle. That's the thing. Like, Gohan can protect his family from most, from any type of Earth-level threat. You know what I mean? Right. Like, like, you know, like, a mugger, a, like a burglar, or sea, guns, like, none of that's a threat to his family. Like, that's his family's really only in danger when people like Frieza show up, and that doesn't seem like it would happen a lot in Universe 6. Like, Gohan would love it there. But I mean, right. there are a lot of possibilities. Like, I think it was Real to Real who said in one of his videos or mentioned to me at one point that it would be really cool if go if they did if the Earth were like if Goku and Vegeta stayed in Universe and it's alone because there are probably a lot a lot of people that are a lot stronger there. Like it's a whole new realm of opponents they can fight. You know I, I mean? don't. I don't doubt that they would just go to Universe Six. No, no, they're, no, they're really going don't. to go to Universe Six no matter either way. I know that. Vegeta said he wants to, and if Vegeta wants to do it, he's gonna do it. We all know it. Right. Vegeta's like Vegeta is in, is still kind of like a foiled prince. Like if he wants it, he's gonna make sure he gets it. So. He just he just does it differently than most foiled people. He acting uses his own power. <laughs> But I mean, just did you did you think did you? My question is, did you think Goku should lose and Earth should be swapped? It's Goku. I don't think it's a matter of Goku should lose. I think it's a matter of if our team loses. It's yeah, t- Team Monaka, Team Goku, Team Beerus, whatever you want to call it. I think th- I think they should lose. I really think they should. I feel like one, it would be a very interesting storyline, like the Earth in Universe Six. And I also don't see how much it would really change. You know what I mean? Because what what would it change? Goku would just want to fight strong people. That wouldn't change. It's not gonna like change the characters. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unless there's like some big plot twist, like 
like like the saying in that new world, like Kabe, like Kabe is lying, and the saying they're actually is evil, and he's just lying for some reason. Unless there's like a plot twist, I'm like you could do a lot of interesting stuff there. Like I'm at like. Uh, if Kane was lying, that would be pretty cool, though. Like, like Goku and the Defire Virgin Army of Saiyans, that would be awesome. <laughs> they probably wouldn't do it. Just say that. They'd probably skip the same. They would probably do the same thing as the Return of Core, or Core's Revenge, whatever you want to call it. They'd probably skip the whole thing. I, w- I really wanted to see Goku and Vegeta fight 1,000 Coolers. Yeah, it would have been epic, but it would have taken too long. <laughs> It was a movie though, that would be different. But it just uh, would you would you have a problem with Team Beers losing? I wouldn't have a problem with it at all. Like I would totally understand. Yeah, I mean, would, but would you have a problem? Universe with Six it? is the difference between Universe Seven and Universe Six is Universe Six is unmarked territory for them. Those and Vegeta basically know what all they need to know about Universe Seven. Yeah, the, the, but yeah, when they go the into universe are, like, six, the most knowledgeable, like highest being in the universe at this point. Right. It's besides Beerus and Whis. Yeah. But once they hit universe six, they're not going to know anything. If they go into universe six, they're going to be completely clueless about what kind of beings live there, how strong they are, if they're the weakest or the strongest. You know. Yeah. Besides for Keith, that thing they're going to have no way of knowing how strong people are. Right. And obviously, Universe 6 will most likely have people, will be full of people who can hide their enemies. Yeah, I mean, it is a very interesting discussion. I wouldn't mind if they lost. I actually kind of hope they do. My old thing is, I really hope Toriyama find a way to, like, resolve all the conflicts. Because I feel that if you put Earth in Universe 6, you could legitimately just kill, end the series, and be like, the Earth is safe forever. Because no matter what happens, there's always going to be people there to protect it. Like, you would not need... The, that's the problem with Dragon Ball. It had the continuing theme. You know what I mean? I mean... I of, like, a stronger person. Right it's always going if to... If Earth got swapped, I wouldn't like him to kill the series right after it got swapped. I wouldn't like it either. Either I think it would be a good ending, though, like, Goku not being... I think drunken. it's fine with Earth being swapped. And then he basically ends the whole, like, threat right there of, like, Earth being destroyed. But I still want to see, like, an arc of Goku going to fight people that are stronger than him. Sure, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, I don't really know. Part of me wants the series to end with Goku not being, with being weaker than somebody. And a part of me wants him to be the strongest. Right. It's yeah, part like, of me like, a, part, like, the, fan, the fanboy in me wants Goku to be the strongest. Yeah, that'd be epic. But then the, the part of me that wants a good story wants Goku to be weaker than somebody. That would be a better story. Right. And you could eat, that would be more likely to pull off in Universe 6. And in my opinion, I do think Universe 6 and Universe 7 are going to swap Earth. And I do think of Team Beerus will lose. The fanboy in me wants Goku to be the strongest, like you said. But, you know, like, the non-fanboy in me wants, like, a better plot, and in my opinion, the best plot there is is to end it with the main character dying. Yeah. I don't, think, I don't think it would be, I don't think it right. would be, be like, like, imagine if the ending is just Goku walking into Universe 6, right? And he right. he entered there, and it ended end with him being like, there are a lot of people that are stronger than me here. I'm excited. I'm happy because no. I'm weak here. I- I mean, that's a good ending, but I would hate for it to end like that, because then I'd be like, there's no more Dragon Ball Z, I'd be pissed. Well, yeah, but no matter you know, no matter what, it's going to end. And it, but you have to think about it, either way... That, it, would also create, that would also create more people asking for more Dragon Ball Z. That would also mean... True, but then again, would, unless he changes the ending, but then he'd just be changing the ending to the same type of ending. I mean, it wouldn't really matter. But I mean... We're getting on top. That's why I'm saying if if Dragon Ball Z is gonna end, I think he needs to kill off Goku and Vegeta. Yeah, he needs to kill off Goku and Vegeta, but then there's Gohan, Piccolo. It's like there's too many people that could be the main character. Earth can block. Like, I just kill them all off. I don't care. The but, universe can be destroyed. Yeah, they're destroying you. Yeah, you're just destroying Universe Seven. I mean, what with Goku and Vegeta having one last awesome battle, like that'd be epic. But we're getting off topic. I personally believe Universe Six is going to get blocked. 
and we're going to get some kind of interesting subplot, maybe even a conflict in, inside, like, with the Z-Fire. This is just now, I'm just now thinking of this, but imagine if the Z-Fire get into, like, a conflict, like, you know, the Z-Fire, like, Piccolo and Gohan are, like, the planet is safer here. We should leave it here. And Goku, and Goku's like, nah, we should try to fight, find somebody very strong and fight him. And Goku like, no, because if we leave everything alone, we can be safe. You know what I mean? Right. That'd be an interesting little conflict between the characters. Being, you know, Goku, the other, Goku's the only one that is like really looking for trouble. You know what I mean? But yeah, I personally think the Earth is going to get swapped, and you think that so, you think it will too. Yeah, I agree. With you. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Do you have any last words, and a What do you mean? I'm not an export. I'm the black Superman named Dante. <laughs> okay. Well, have a great day, guys.